Hi and thanks for joining. It's Amit from Unlimited Elements. Today we're going to go over the top five trending widgets of August 19. To start us off with number five in the list is in the buttons category. It's called gradient button. I'm going to show how it works. Uh, after you install it, of course, you can search for the word uh, gradient and you'll see it you can drop it inside of your design and what it does it just adds a simple button that has some button text we can change let's change that to book tickets and of course you can link it to any page you want in your website and what's nice about it is the gradient gradients are a trending uh, in 2019 web design so we can choose a couple of different colors over here and what it's going to do it's just going to animate them so right now it's showing only the first two colors and once we hover over it it shows the third color and pushes the second color to the left and pushing out the first color completely and of course we can change the border radius and we can play around with the fonts so if we want it to be bigger or a different uh, font family, we can easily achieve that. It looks super nice. It's super trending right now. And that's number five in the list. Number four in the list is um, a playlist. I think uh, our playlists are very popular because I'm not sure. But uh, from what I know, there aren't any other Elementor playlists. So... If you want to use them, you just uh, go into audio playlist category and you can find uh, any of these playlists. The one that's most trending right now in 2019 August is dark playlist. So I've got that installed and let me just show you how I add this to the page. So I'm going to search for a playlist and I see it over here. I'm just going to drag that inside. And as you can see, it does a, an effect for the image that you use. And you don't need to crop the image. It will just adapt it uh, with CSS exactly like you want. Um, you can use the artist name or just uh, leave that blank if you want, if you don't need it. And over here, it shows the track, the track that's playing right now. Right now, uh, all the tracks are the same. So to edit the tracks, we go into items and uh, you can delete so you can see there were four and now there are three let's just choose uh, some tracks from my uh, computer so i uploaded uh, three tracks and it knows how to read only mp3 files so make sure you're uploading an mp3 file you can give a, each track a name and let's just add the third one So we have these uh, three tracks already configured. And what's nice about it is it's responsive. So if I go into edit section and I change the width over here, you see how easily it adapts. And of course, uh, you have all the controls, which is play, stop, uh, skip uh, a track. You can uh, repeat tracks, loop them, and you can also randomize. You also have a... a volume uh, slider over here and over here this is a slider of the time so you can jump to any time of the track you want and play from that time so super cool and i think it's unique for um the point of view that there aren't any other ones but maybe i'm mistaken so that was our playlist let's go to number three in our most trending widgets of August 19 and um, number three is the testimonial and um, clean testimonial carousel it's super uh, trendy and super popular a lot of people download it and by the way when I say um, what's trending it's statistics that we do from our widget library so it's been tested we know to see how many downloads that's why also we created the widget library is so we can have a, a 
we can have analytics about how many people download each widget so we know what's popular what's trending and we know what to work on next so this is the testimonials and as you can see you can change the bullet color over here inside of the item if you open it up you can change the image the image adapts automatically to the circle you can change the text of course of the testimonial itself of the person writing the testimonial you can change the labels uh, of each part over here if we go into style it's the same thing as we showed earlier if we change the font it will change and, and uh, you can play around with that to achieve the effect you want what's nice about it is it's a, a carousel and it's automatically responsive so if I'm going into mobile view you can see it has adapted pretty good you can use your finger to swipe so super cool that was number three in our trending widgets um, for this month let me just delete it from the page so we can go to number two number two is the post grid uh, in the post grid category it's called alternating post grid I've done a tutorial about it um, not long ago, but still I want to show it today because it's number two in the most popular. And I guess there aren't also uh, as many post grids and I'm sure there's not any of them looking like this one. And uh, let's just change the gap between the rows to zero. And this is looking perfect. You can filter it by category. You can change the color, the primary color to whatever you want. Of course, the fonts as we showed before. And uh, we can decide that we want to show only the last three from this category. And it's looking super cool. So like news for news on a home page or something like that. You can also use it in an archive page. And it will add pagination if there are more... Um, more posts than it can show so that was number two in the trending widgets and we're in the final number one trending widgets and it's in content boxes and just a small thing you should know about content boxes this is the most popular category in, for all our widgets i mean people are downloading hundreds of widgets from this category every day and the reason for that is it's very easy to use and everybody needs a content box everyone wants his content box to be designed and the number one trending widget for august 2019 is icon image content box uh, i've installed it already and usually if we're going to put it to a section like this we do want to add an inner section before that so let's search for the word box and i'm going to drag it inside over here and as you can see it works out of the box we don't need to do anything special i'm going to copy and paste it to the other uh, column and i'm going to duplicate this last column we already got our layout set up if we want to change the image it's going to be super easy super fast of course you can change the icon so let's say we're doing something about music i'm going to go for a volume icon and and what's nice is the button is hidden and only once you hover over it um, it shows this works also for uh, mobile so once someone will touch the box or tap on it the uh, hover effect will take effect and the button will show so you don't need uh, to worry about that and it's a very cool and unique effect with uh, and we didn't spend a lot of time on it we just it took one minute and we already got something unique going on and and that's the reason i think also people are using the content boxes so much is they don't want to work hard and they want unique effects they don't want their website to look like everyone else's website so i guess uh, that's the reason also and i think we got this set up looking nicely maybe let's just change the color to see how that works of course fonts any of our widgets you can change the font so it's completely uh, adjustable thank you for joining august 2019 five trending uh, widgets and we'll see you next month bye bye